Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number eight of exercise eleven point three. And question says the lateral surface area of a hollow cylinder is four two two four centimeters square. It is cut along its height and form a rectangular sheet of width thirty three centimeters. You have to find the perimeter of a rectangular sheet. It is given that. You have a hollow cylinder, and when it is cut along its height and opened, it is it forms a rectangular sheet of width thirty three thirty three centimeters, and you have to find the perimeter of this rectangular box. Uh, because this is three D figures, let's see what will happen. when we uh, make a cylinder and cut it along its height this is a hollow cylinder if i fold a piece of paper and if i cut it along its height and i open it this will form a rectangular sheet and one thing is clear the curved surface area which is this curved surface area should be equals to the area of this rectangular sheet so in this question we are saying the curved surface area of this cylinder which is curved surface area of the cylinder should be equal to the area of the rectangle and we know that the curved surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r multiplied by h and This is equal to length into breadth, and in this case, the curved surface area is already given as four two two four centimeter square. So in place of this, we can write four two two four, and length you have to find for the rectangle, and width is given as thirty three centimeter. So from here, we can find the length of the rectangular sheet. This can be eleven three times. This is eleven three times. Uh, this is eight times, and this is four times. Now this can be cancelled three one times, three two times, and three eight times. So length of this rectangular sheet must be equal to one twenty eight centimeters. Now if you want to find the perimeter of this rectangular sheet, we know that. the perimeter is nothing but the sum of its outer boundaries so we can simply add this breadth plus this breadth and this length plus this length or either you can use the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle which is equals to twice length plus breadth here twice our length is 128 and our our breadth is 33 cm So this will be eight plus three is eleven. Three plus five six one, and this will be two centimeters. So the perimeter of the rectangle so formed should be equal to three twenty two centimeters.